I'm tired. Today I'm going to be doing another like day in the life vlog. I like to do intros so people actually know what's to come. I normally wake up every day at 6 o'clock, 6.30, mainly because the sun rises and floods my bedroom and living room with light. It also sets in my den, so if the sun's up, I'm up. Kind of. The caveat with my current place. I want to talk a little bit about like what it's like working in the pharma industry in the fourth quarter. Um, and kind of speak to why it's important that I wake up every day early. And I'm just gonna kind of talk through how I worked this weekend. <clears throat> Not something I wanted to do, but definitely it happens. If you're working on a really important project and someone requests that you work on a document over the weekend, what are you gonna do? Say no? You could actually, but I wouldn't advise it. I would just do what you're being asked, especially if it's coming from someone who's like extremely high up or it's like a business pressing project. Before I get too much into detail, I'm gonna go make some coffee. The main point that I wanted to cover in this video is honestly talking about what it's like to work for a pharmaceutical company in the fourth quarter. Personally, I feel like it's the most stressful and the most difficult. It's just like working in accounting. The last quarter is when everyone's trying to meet their deliverables before the end of the year. And some people who have even contacted me about looking for a job in regulatory affairs, I've told them to not feel discouraged if they haven't heard anything back right now. Just because in the last quarter, all resources are being devoted to the big ticket items, the big business projects that need to be done before the end of the year or need answers to move the business forward. So for example, I know, I think Pfizer and Moderna are developing like a capsule for COVID. That might be where all their resources are going in Q4 for whatever reason. It could be a financial reason, it could be a resource reason. But the point that I'm trying to make is the fourth quarter is really busy just because a lot of companies are focusing to their top priority needs that need to be met before the next year. A lot of people like to have FDA meetings at the end of the year so they can get the advice they need and hit the ground running in the new year. But preparing for meetings takes time. You have to write the meeting request. You have to write the briefing book. You gotta get all your team members together and on the same page to prepare for that meeting and to give the presentation at the meeting. Then after that, you have to be prepared to actually do the work to fulfill the advice that you were just given by the FDA. Mm. This weekend, actually, I had to work on some things so that this week would go a little bit smoother. Obviously, no one likes to work on the weekends, and I always tell people, like, I don't work on weekends, only on my personal things, and I don't like when work encroaches into my personal life, but sometimes it does happen, and I mean, what are you gonna do? If there's a meeting on the weekend and, and someone's asking you, you could say no, of course. I feel like saying no sometimes creates more problems. So I just, you know, go with the flow. If it's not, you know, bothering me too much, absolutely not, I'm not getting on camera on a weekend. Lately, my function has been extremely like presentation heavy. I've been asked to help work on a lot of presentations. Some of those presentations are for like team meetings, internal meetings to explain like what's going on with that program, but also to external functions. So that's something that I don't think I've talked a lot about on this channel about regulatory affairs requiring you to have like good like presentation skills or drafting of presentations. But I think that's really important. And then also I was looking at this slide deck, so interesting, but I was looking at this slide deck and 50% of the people on the slide deck who were going to be attending the meeting had their MPH. There were PhDs with the MPH or just the MPH by itself. There are a lot of MDs, some people with an MS and an MPH, but I just thought it was so amazing that all these people are in really high places and 50% of the people have an MPH. I'm just saying, I think an MPH is becoming way more relevant than people even realize. Yeah, let me let me get back to what I was doing. Guys, it's three o'clock and I've been sitting here since 
6 30 7 in the morning and i'm trying to do some work before my next meeting which is at 6 p.m so today is going to be like a 12 14 hour day and these are the things that i don't think i've really showcased on my channel in terms of regulatory just being extremely demanding so like i think i've I was in a meeting today and I was the presenter and I had my headphones in and I had to actually use the bathroom. This is embarrassing, but I had to use the bathroom. And it, you kind of just have to sit and wait because you're the presenter, you're responsible for the meeting and you can't really get up and do what you need to do. So those, these are some of the toxic things that I don't love about regulatory is the level of demand, the level of expectation, the level of requirement of your time. And sometimes people can be really inconsiderate. I would love to take a nap right now like that's what i would actually love to do but i think i'm gonna get some food and just try and cram in for the next two hours as much as i can so i'll check back in with you guys in a bit i almost forgot about you guys I'm, i need to lay down for a second because i'm just like what the heck it is eight o'clock and I just finished working on this presentation. I literally am just tired and, and I'm not even done, but like think about all the personal stuff that I need to do. Like think about the fact that I vlog <laughs> and I have to have the content edited, come up with concepts. I honestly, this is why I'm vlogging more because I just haven't even had the time to like sit down and film some of the other videos that I want to film for you guys but if anybody ever asks you what the downs if you ever ask me what the downside of regulatory is I will always tell you that there, it's always busy and the more the higher you move up the more responsibility you have you have so like a senior associate or an associate or a specialist would never be would likely not be in the predicament I'm in right now unless they were in like submissions because normally submissions managers, like you're waiting for me or someone higher up to give you the document so you can submit it to the health authority. So that's one thing, but. I'm so tired and I cannot go to sleep just yet. But my plan is I'm gonna make some tea. I'm giving myself until 8.20, so that's 10 more minutes to just chill for a second. Well, when my tea's ready, I'll get up. And then I'm going to stop working, cut off, all things i don't care turn off phones at 11 p.m be in my bed to unwind be asleep by 12. my first meeting is at 6 a.m isn't that lovely my tea's ready so it's time time for me to go guys but thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and until my next vlog bye